Well, it's another way for Central Nebraska law enforcement to communicate with you, but they say they're hoping to get more people on board. Jessica Stevenson sat down with the developer of this See It, Say It, Send It app to learn just what inspired this new technology. I happened to be in um, Las Vegas when the Route 91 shootings happened. Dozens of deaths, hundreds of injuries, and even more witnesses. The gathering of digital information is really tough. A lot of people will leave the area. This massacre and investigative challenges following, inspiring the creation of a new FBI-approved app. When they go to submit a tip. The See It, Say It, Send It app allows witnesses to take a photo or write a tip and send it to law enforcement using their phone. When you hit submit, it's going to ask you if you want to submit it anonymously or not. Angel says so far, about 65% of tips submitted through this app have been anonymous. Some people want to give the information, they just don't want to get deeply involved. And so if we look back at uh, like the Parkland shooting and the commission that, that studied that in the research, 70% of people, the FBI has found out that 70% of people had some type of knowledge, but they were afraid to tell and they didn't know how to reach out and they wanted to stay anonymous. This app allows that to happen, but also creates an option for law enforcement to still reach out. A lot of times tips that we'll get, or law enforcement will get, uh, there's vague information. There's just not enough information to go investigate it. There's not a location or a time or who's involved. And so the anonymous uh, continued communication allows them to get that follow-up information. This app also uses artificial intelligence to prioritize tips, give authorities keyword alerts, and has photo facial recognition. We were to see a child in the community and it just gave us that hair on the back of our neck standing up and we took a picture and sent that information in. If we had a known image of that person missing, it will compare the two of them and alert law enforcement that somebody has sent in a tip with a facial recognition match. So Central Nebraska law enforcement agencies have been using the app and getting tips for about a year now. There was about roughly 40. Um, there was a mixture of both uh, web-based uh, reports and mobile reports. Um, several were also anonymous-based. We've had a number of tips that we've been able to act on. Uh, we've had everything from uh, traffic concerns to uh, uh, public concerns like weeds, uh, things like that. So it, it varies. While some of these tips may seem minor, these agencies say they're happy to have the app in place. And with the recent events uh, across the nation, um, it's, it's not something that we ever want to utilize the, the app for, uh, but the app is there uh, for the public's use, the school's use, uh, to, if they know something, if they see something, know something, send something, so that uh, law enforcement can act on that. Well, the app is free to download and law enforcement is encouraging you to do so, but it does come at a cost to them. It's 10 cents per person per year within their coverage area, but the Sheriff's Department says they received a grant covering those costs for a 15 county region for the next three years.